Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Life of Lev. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today is really exciting because we got the reveal of the PS5. First impressions, I think it looks amazing. I think it looks beautiful. I think it's got a really sleek design. So I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, if you guys like it or not. So I want to get into what I think overall of the PS5 and also the main difference between the PS5 and the PS5 Digital. Now overall, I, I really love the design. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks sleek. But there's some concerns with the actual design. Like number one, it's all white. So I'm just wondering how my greasy hands are going to yellow that controller real fast. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a black version of this. Well, hopefully. I mean, that's just a concern. I'm sure any one of your gamer friends that comes over, you know, we're eating pizza, we're drinking beer, and we're playing some games together. Uh, that controller is going to get real dirty real fast. So that's my first uh, real kind of issue with it. Number two, if you look closely, there's lots of ventilation room that they've put in. The problem is that the ventilation's at the top of the PS5. So I'm just wondering how much dust is going to be collecting, you know, over time, like say two or three years from now, how much of that dust is going to be going into the PS5 because it's, it's from the top. And as you know, dust settles down, right? So uh, yeah, that's another concern. Uh, it could not matter to anybody, but that's just my concern. Now, enough of the bad stuff. What I love is I love the LEDs. I just love the overall design. I love the curves. Right now, it's, you know, it's upright, but can it lay on its side? Hmm, I wonder about that. Even if the vents could be an issue, uh, you know, with dust collection and that kind of thing, I actually really like the design of it. I think it looks really cool. It almost looks you know, kind of like alien tech, almost Fut very futuristic, which I really love about it. But that's my overall impression of the PS5. Uh, you know, they didn't get into any of the specifics in terms of what the hardware is or anything like that. But, you know, just just the look of it, the look and feel of it looks looks really great. Um, so I'm really excited to pick it up. I can't wait for this thing to come out. We can all play some games together. The controls look really awesome to me. You know, they got these awesome thumb grips and they also have these LED lights that, you know, that aren't too bright, not like the PS4 controllers, like that just light up the whole room. It just looks like there are little slivers on the side, which is really cool. Uh, I love this kind of glass feel that they got on the D-pad and also on the buttons. If you look at the controller closely, it, it looks really futuristic. You know, it look, almost looks like a piece of armor that's on top of the controller. Um, so I just really love the look of this controller. I think it looks really amazing. Can't wait to to feel it and feel the weight of it and see how it feels in my hands. The material that they're using all around for the PS5 looks like it's all hard plastic. A really nice 3D printer printed this whole thing. To, it almost looks like big giant pieces put together. And so you got this kind of smooth finish on the front. Uh, which is the black area and then you got you got this textured plastic on the sides uh, I don't think it's it's on the outside of it But definitely on the inside you got this texture happening and then of course like a smooth finish on the outside of the ps5 So I think it looks really cool. What I'm really excited about is the fact that it's got USB-C If you look at it closely, it has a USB and USB-C also you can see on the bottom of the the PS5, there's a power button, and then there's also an eject button. But on the digital system, there's just a power button. So this brings me to what are the differences between the PS5 and the PS5 digital? One thing is that the PS5 digital does not have a disk drive, whereas the PS5 does have a disk drive. Now I think Sony would actually want us to get the PS5 digital just because I think they can cut costs on, you know, not having discs out there. But it's really, I think they wanted it out there just in case for people that don't have access to fast internet connections. So, you know, for them, it would really make sense to get the disc version of the PS5. But for anyone that does have access to, you know, high speed internet, I think that having the digital version of the PS5 would make a lot more sense. And of course, I think it makes more sense for Sony as well, 
just because they can save on costs for not having the disk drive there. Another difference, as I mentioned earlier, is that there is no eject button on the PS5 digital. There's only an eject button on the PS5, and that's because you know the PS5 has a has a disk drive, and the PS5 digital does not, right? So there's only a power button on the PS5 digital. I actually wonder what's going to be the price difference between the two, because if there isn't such a significant price difference, I bet a lot of people are going to be picking up the PS5 with the disk drive just so that they could have a backup. But of course, if the PS5 digital is cheaper, even if it's $50 cheaper, uh, which is actually quite a bit, I bet you a lot of people are going to be going for the PS5 digital. Me personally, I think digital is the way to go. I think, I mean, I'm lucky enough that I have a good internet connection. I don't have to worry about slow internet speeds or anything like that. Um, so that's why I would go with the PS5 digital. But, you know, if you don't have a great internet connection, then I think PS5 is the way to go. It's also great to ha get the one with the disk drive if you want a backup way to be able to play your games. And some people just really love having that disk to be able to put into the PS5 or whatever console that you have, right? So it's really it depends on your preference as well. I'm really looking forward to the games that's coming out. I mean, the reveal showed some really, really amazing games out there. Some of the ones that I thought that looked really awesome was Resident Evil Village, the new Spider-Man game, Horizon, Ratchet and Clank, Kenna or Kina, Bridge of Spirits looks amazing, and Gran Turismo. I mean, that's just a few of them, but they all look really amazing. I, I cannot wait. I mean, these games look like, you know, they're like the first generation of the games that's going to be coming out, accessing all that hardware. Um, but I can't wait for the future, for the next generation of games to come out, pushing the system in terms of graphics and gameplay. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the PS5. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Let me know if you share the same concerns as I do, as in, you know, you're going to be eating greasy food and playing video games, and then the controller is just going to get so dirty uh, from that white uh, finish. Uh, so hopefully there is a black version and we can pick that up. Smash that like button, guys, and subscribe to me. I plan to do a lot more videos on the PS5 and any more details that it comes out, along with I'm um, doing a lot of product reviews, anything related to tech, really. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.